Hello everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the third video on how to do interface configuration parsing using regex patterns. In the first video, we have written a regex pattern to match interface configurations. And using that pattern, we have created an interface dictionary here. Then we have seen how to execute the commands and parse the output parallelly from all the devices using multi-threading. Then in the second video, we have seen how to identify the interfaces matching specific subnet. So we were using IP address module for that. So let us try running this script. Here I'll give one subnet 192.168.0.0 slash 16. We'll try to match all the interfaces IPs matching this subnet. So here the interface, the device 61 is having two interfaces matching this subnet. Here it is 0 0.61 slash 24 and 0 0.61 1.61 24. So I was matching with slash 16. So both are part of same subnet. Same way each device will have IPs matching gigabit zero slash zero. So in this video, we'll see how to monitor particular interface status and trigger email if that goes down. And you can run this script in the backend continuously using no hop method. I have created another video explaining all those logics. Here I'll be using logging module for triggering email. So regarding logging, how to use logging, I have created one video earlier. There I was executing show run command and I was triggering email whenever device is not reachable. You can see here unable to connect and the, that log I had as critical and here we have multiple logging handlers. So what we can do is we can just copy the entire logging part and put it into the IP identifier. So first I'll run through this. So to enable logging in your Python script, first you need to import the logging. Then here what I'm doing is I'm to trigger the email, you need to get the email password. So to generate a password from Gmail, what you need to do is you need to go to your Google account security and in the security you need to generate an app password that password has to be added into your python script so here what i'm doing is i'm calling that environment variable within the script if i echo this mail password in the terminal i'll be able to see my gmail app password it is not the user password it is a random generated password from google for particular application to access and then I'm defining a logger, then setting the limit, the logging level for the logger, then created multiple handlers. So file handler will create the log files. So here uh, the logger name we can change. Interface parser I'll call, then the file handler I will call this show interface info.log and show interface debug.log then stream handler will log directly into the terminal and we can set the limit of all that here and this is where our, our SMTP handler this triggers email so this is the email from and to address are same here and I will call this interface log alert from Python and credentials you can see I am calling that environment variable which I set earlier. Then we can define the logging levels here. So here for file handler I am just adding only the info level log. You can see the logging level here. If I give 
level info it will log info and above so anything which comes as warning critical or error also info will log if i give debug it will log everything and i have two files here one is info level and another is debug level and both are having different levels so debug is going to log everything and stream handler was logging only warning so now i'll change this also to info and smtp was logging only warning so i'll change that to critical then here we can see how to format our logging so all these i have explained in the logging demo video i'll add that also in the description and then we are adding the handlers to the logger so let me copy entire content so before that i'll first put our previous script into interface monitor file and on top of that i'll put the logging to understand it better i am putting it in this way i will copy entire content from here and here in this case uh, we are going to monitor only one device so we don't need multi threading we can delete that and we'll use single device for this testing i'll delete other devices as well from the script i can remove even that ip address validation logic now without any changes if we try to run this script so i need to import even os module here so it is printing the interface details in a table format it is using tablet yeah now now let us write a logic to read the interface status so to read the interface status what we can do is we will put a condition here after creating the dictionary we will try to monitor one particular interface we'll monitor gigabit ethernet 2 so for that if interface dictionaries gigabit ethernet 2 and interface dictionaries status equal to when interface is down it will show administratively down
then we'll do a print first so let us try running this now now we'll shut down this interface we can see the message here gigabit 2 is down now we'll try to log this using the logger and trigger email so we'll start introducing logging everywhere instead of print so we'll set the log here logger dot info logger dot info here you can see it is already creating the log files we can delete it since we are not logging anything this was an empty file then this one we will define as debug logger dot debug then this also we will set as logger dot info whenever i give info it is going to log in in the terminal stream handler and the file logger dot info and debug if i give debug it will log only inside debug file now here I will introduce a logger dot critical and I'll put the message. And for all the exceptions also we can add logger. We'll put this as logger dot. You can set uh, any level. Okay, now interface status is down. Let us check our email. Now we'll run the script. So you can see here it is connecting to the device connected successfully executing show IP interface everything is coming in terminal gigabit 2 is down and it shows the message also it is printing and showing the critical message now let us verify it in our mail yeah we have received even one email so it says gigabit 2 is down now if I run again, it will trigger an email or what we can do is we can schedule this. Let us try how to schedule it. For that I'll import schedule. You can delete all the unused libraries. I'll comment this and 
स्कड्यूल डॉट विल ट्राई रनिंग दिस एवरी फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स सो हियर यू कैन सी वी नीड टू पास द फंक्शन एंड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सो फर्स्ट आई विल गिव द फंक्शन नेम्स इसको इंटरफेस पास सर कॉमा आई कैन गिव माई आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू पास लैब सी एस आर दिस इज हाउ यू कैन पास द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स टू द स्कड्यूलर द डू फंक्शन नाउ वाइल ट्रू स्कड्यूल डॉट run pending time dot sleep mode now every 15 seconds this will run so initially i'll keep the interface up and here inside this logger also you can see you will be able to see all the details so here this device prompt i am adding only into the debug file if you look into the log file it is not there because in the script this device prompt i have added only in the you can see it is debug and above info and above will go and log it into even debug file now let us try running this and if you want you can even store all these output also into the debug file path reference so we'll tail this log as well now we'll try running this so this will wait for 15 seconds so this is printing the list and each interface output it is printing separately now this will wait for the next execution so now i'll make the interface down yeah now we can see a message here a critical message saying that gigabit 2 is down and if i refresh my email i have received even email now to trigger this in the back end you can use like no hub and the python script file if you run it without keeping the terminal open you can execute this you can keep running the script and you can even change the schedule accordingly and in the terminal also you can see i hope uh, this video was helpful for you to understand how to enable logging how to do multi threading then how to trigger email from logging module if there is any changes in the interface properties or the current status thanks for watching see you in the next video